Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GNTH Important Questions and uh, today we are back uh, with another video of uh, Advanced Engineering Physics. So this uh, subject is really a new one uh, where uh, you know there has been a lot of change for syllabus for R25 regulation. So we are providing important questions and topics for the semester and exams for R25 regulation so i just want to request you guys so please please if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and share this video in your college groups in your friends group among your friends so that it will be easy for your uh, friends and uh, all the students to prepare for the exam before starting this uh, video i just want to tell you that uh, the questions appearing in this video may or may not come in your final exams. The purpose of making this video is just to educate students and help them in revising their subject and making them easy for the semester end exam. Right. So now coming to the syllabus, what you have in the syllabus is, uh, so let me on this and uh, just check with us. Yeah. So first unit you have crystal crystallography and materials characterization. In this you will learn how uh you know how the x-ray diffraction bragg's law and uh, scanning electronic microscope and everything you will learn what is crystallography first you need to understand and then what are the materials and how the characterization works so that is the first unit and uh, coming to the second unit you have quantum mechanics uh in quantum mechanics you have all these theorems and theories so you can just uh go through it and we'll talk it uh in the later stages of this video and uh, other and another thing is unit 3 that is quantum computing unit 4 you have magnetic and di dielectrical material so one question from magnetism and one, uh, sorry magnetic and one question from di dielectrical material is compulsory from this unit so coming to the unit 5 you have laser and fiber optics for r22 students also this is similar uh, thing laser and fiber optics and laser and fiber optics unit has been crucial every time maybe it may be r18 r22 and r25 so here one question from laser and one question from fiber optics is compulsory so now if you look at the exam pattern yes uh, if you have given your first exam then you will understand what exam pattern is exactly like part a you will have 10 marks and part b you will have 50 marks in part a you will have 10 marks uh, where two questions from sorry one question or consisting of two marks from each unit will be and uh, if you want to understand more just watch our first video of uh, first video where we have actually first video of uh, matrices and calculus subject where we have explained this exactly what how to prepare for this exam the how the exam pattern and part b will be carrying 10 marks each i mean one one unit will have 10 marks and one unit will so every unit you will have 12 marks 12 marks compulsory from every unit it will be not be combined but you know you will get 12 marks so 12 12 12 that is 36 all you need 21 marks to pass in the exam 21 marks so if you are preparing three units properly then you are attempting 36 marks from this 36 marks you need to get 21 only okay so this should be your target if you want to just pass the subject sometimes in jntuh pass becomes so uh pass becomes so important uh that uh, forget about uh, scoring marks uh sometimes you will not get five to six marks also so prepare properly okay and now come to tips to pass that is what i am saying three chapters perfectly for r25 students two marks questions will be really important you can get five to six marks and if you get six marks so your target is 21 for you uh, if you'll get six marks in part a itself in part b you need to get only 15 marks which you will get by attempting three or four long answers that should not be a big deal okay so units to prepare you can prepare one two three four five as one two three covers the basics four and five are more theoretical okay so just prepare accordingly and now coming to the so whatever i have highlighted in this yellow in this highlighter thing these are important and major questions will be asked from this units uh, i mean these topics only so this you see scanning of electron microscopy sem block diagram and working principle so this is important and also sc bcc and fcc also important so just check with that and important question so these are the important questions if you can see that i have highlighted this here topic wise also you have space la latest uh, basis and unit cells you have automatic atomic atomic peak packing factor and then you have miller's incidences 
so these are the important questions so if you want the pdf of this important questions i i am giving the link in description uh, go to exam update examuptt.com and you can download uh, the pdf of the important questions for free okay just uh, make sure that you use this for whenever you are preparing for exam and now important topics for unit 2 so what are the important topics from where you can expect the questions is de Broglie hypothesis, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and then you have Schrodinger's time independent wave equation, and then you have Bloch's theorem, qualitative. Okay, so these are the important topics from where. So basically, from the unit two, also I have covered each and every topic where possible question can be asked. So you can see here uh, we have covered. Uh, D. Brogan's hypothe hypothesis wave equation, then you have quantum mechanics uh, question, then you have Schrodinger's time independent uh, equation, Bloch's theorem, and all. So, just this, just look into it. And if you don't understand it, you can download PDF, PDF which is I have given in description. Please check out there. Go to description, video description. There you will have a PDF. Download it. Link to PDF, download it, keep it for yourself so that whenever you are preparing, it will be useful for you. Uh, at least, uh, at least if two to three questions from this, uh, whatever I am giving, if comes, then that will be definitely helpful for students. So not only you, please, it is important that you need to share this video also. That's your responsibility, I would say, to help your fellow students because everyone is new for R25. They need questions. Everyone of us need questions. So please, please, please be helpful too for others as well. Okay, and uh, yeah, unit three. So you can see again, blood sphere, and also I have highlighted this one. Uh, you can just check. Okay, so this is unit three, and also important questions, important topics from there. And again, I have covered each and every topic from unit three questions as well. So unit three is is, is this. So you can have a look, a, a detailed look. You can pause the video and also have a look, or else download the PDF from examuptt.com. So yeah, so this is how. It will be okay. Uh, just don't forget to share, subscribe the video. And from unit four, what are unit four? Wins domain theory, theory of ferromagnetism. So as I said, one question from magnetic and dielectrical, and one one question from uh, dielectrical materials. And means ten marks uh, will be coming from this topic. 10 marks will be coming from this topic. It's up to you which you will attempt. Okay. There are choices or 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 or. Okay. So just look into this and uh, you can just have a look. And also see, I have highlighted all the questions. So ferroelectric random access memory, what is this? So how is this and all? I have highlighted every single topic which would actually come in that. And these are May majorly important. You can check. Okay. And now unit five. Unit five Ruby laser, H E H E N E laser, C O2 laser, barcode scanner, LIDAR, LIDAR uh, for uh, auto autonomous vehicles and the classification of optical fibers, losing loses losses of optical fibers and applications. So one question from optical fibers and one for question from lab, uh, lasers. So this is mandatory. So now you can check. So what are the questions? from unit 5 laser radiation population population inversion he laser ruby laser and then Li lidar what discuss applications and bar barcode see these are the importance so just check with this okay so that it will be helpful for you now coming to the uh, because we don't we didn't have any previous question paper of this subject uh, what what i have tried to give you is part a okay simple short questions for two marks it will come like this in your exam. So these are the short questions. Try to answer it. Okay. Before going to exam, prepare this and also like, share and subscribe to the channel. Share this video, please. And if you have not followed us on social media, you can follow there. And if you have any doubts, you can let, uh, let me know in the comments so that I will be happy to help you. So this video is out guys. So please, please do share. It's your responsibility uh, and study well. All the best for your exams and uh, take care. Thank you.